Good morning. It's Bronzeberry with a special Brownstone Powwow solo. I don't even want to make this long. I just want to get my thoughts across about things that I've been analyzing across the internet uh, for the last couple of days or the last couple of like weeks and stuff like that. I just think that um, my whole entire viewpoint on certain things in terms of the internet and internet uh, conduct, we live in technology. That's just the reality of the world, right? And that you and I have the av availability to um, go ahead and create an avatar or create a whole entire profile or persona online in which we can be whoever we want to be. We can act as ourselves or we can put on a show. That's just reality, right? So honestly, this sat on my mind for a little while. And, you know, usually my topics usually get into so-called black people. And of course, about how I try to stay away from the gender war. But for for whatever reason, I'm still engaged in it because the, the powers that be is real, that the gender war between men and women, this so-called gender war, because I mean, it, it's all an illusion. And if you if you look at a lot of different things throughout society or you pay attention to different things out there, a lot of this stuff becomes very, uh, very, you know, very obvious that it comes from somewhere like this was all planned. And in my honest opinion, this this is a part of socialization, creating a great divide amongst people. Uh, so let me get to my point. I think this week that I wanted to look and view a video online, I, uh, shout outs to one of the homies that uh, I'm cool with, that's formerly in the so-called manosphere space. I remember just looking at this video about how um, it was going to be a dip in production and you know dating come a certain year. And it was a graph that uh, some scientists had had there in like the 1960s and about how the idea of uh, marriage and love and all these different things is gonna be abysmal or you know, the, the idea of having a child was going to go down. And now what you see in society is a lot of people don't want to have kids. Uh, my whole entire thing about it is I, I wouldn't have kids at this very moment just because of how society is going. What's being pushed in this society, you understand? My thing is I don't want my child and my offspring to deal with that. I want them to be able to, you know, move functional in society and not have to worry about all this stuff or be aware. I have the freedom of ignoring it. Because that's what I will instill in my child, especially my my son. Because I want my son to know, you know, a lot of the stuff that's going out here is complete bullshit. But um, this was just what was on my mind this morning. There's a particular YouTube content creator, and I'm learning not to get into certain affairs as I build my channel, build my profile as Bronzebird. I know I, it's pretty much fun. Sometimes I go on these panels and kind of just jeer at certain people on panels because it's funny, you know. You know, they a lot of a lot of these dudes that come up on these panels, especially women panels. You know, they they want to they want to stick their chest out. They want to be like, oh yeah, you know, this is me. I'm a man. Da da da. da. I got all this. I earned six figures. I'm a high value man. Ah, ah, ah and this and third. You look, you just be like, man, shut up. You know what I mean? <laughs> and. The thing about it is, is like, you know, I just, I just jeer at them because I know the points that they're going to make is complete BS, right? So there's this YouTube, YouTube content creators that's been the talk of the town, the talk of the, the, the virtual sphere for about a week and about how he got exposed for being, uh, you know, being, being someone who's a grifter, someone who, you know, is just using this particular group called the so-called divesters, in which I critique them a lot because I just think it's mean-spirited for anyone of that matter to wish death on a particular group of men and, you know, outwardly say that they should be killed. Um, you know, it's not something that I, I think is okay. And when this one of you, any one of you that can threaten someone's life like mine, I don't have much respect for you. And, um, so this this whole thing about him being doxxed, and I'm pretty sure a lot of YouTubers, I mean, those who's around me that knows in the space knows exactly who I'm talking about. I've critiqued him a lot of times. 
uh, my thing about it is, is that um, he apparently got doxxed, you know, um, and usually I don't make these conversations. I don't like to spend my time talking about a particular content creator. I usually think that I'm my whole entire uh, reasoning and rationale when I make videos is to teach a lesson. Well, this this would teach a lesson, though. My thing about it is, is that when I heard the news about him being doxxed and all these different things and about how he's been a grifter and he's been taking advantage of the divestment crew and all this other stuff, you know, I sat back and I was just like, it's not surprising because I've already knew that from the start. You know, I don't I don't have negative words as in, you know, F this dude or this, that and the third. I think he's misled. And I think his whole entire thing of trying to do this whole pro blackity black shit is just kind of like, you know, banal. It, there's nothing to really prove on trying to tell people or get at black men the way that you do. You understand? Now, I understand so-called black men have a whole host of problems that they need to fix. And especially when you get into this whole entire conversation with brothers in the manosphere, their whole entire ploy is usually the same. It's always the same shit. Even if his brothers as new to the space, I give them credit because they don't understand. They're just coming in. But for certain brothers to be in y'all 40s and 50s and y'all talk about the same shit all the time, shame on y'all. You understand? So, uh, going back to this brother, you know, he's making YouTube videos. His history was he was homeless for a couple of years living in his car and uh, he used to work with a rap group or work in a studio where these dudes was talking about gang life and this, that, and the third. And for whatever reason, he had a metamorphosis and decided to make a YouTube page in which I honored a brother. I honored a brother for wanting to do something and keep himself occupied and move up in life. Even with him having the subscriptions he has and making all the money he has and all this other stuff off of the YouTube stuff, he's been able to correlate his uh, passion into a business, in which I don't see a problem with. Now, this is where the critique comes in, in which I'll get at him later. What I'm going to get at now is this whole entire reality of doxing. I don't believe in doxing of people. I don't believe in people, um, information getting leaked out if they didn't ask for it. I don't believe in, you know, people out there just doing some some wah-wah to someone, you know what I mean, in, in, in doing this all the stuff because you don't like what they're talking about or you don't like them personally. The thing about it is I don't take people that seriously in the flesh to really get that upset and get mad about who they are. That's just who they are. That's their personality. And this goes beyond that because I've seen other content creators do the same thing to other content creators. Uh, my thing about doxing is it just shows exactly who you are as a person. You have no depth. You think that by exposing someone, that's your claim to dominance because you finally got to the random majestical uh, how do i say it the, the the feeble part of them the weak part of them that now they'll concede into not making the content that you dislike all because you dox them okay and i understand like there's there's a lot of people out there that feel as if you know doxing is a way to make someone basically shut up but it won't so that's the thing now this is where I have to critique the brother on where he's wrong in the situation, regardless if, uh, you know, he doesn't really agree with being canceled or being doxxed. Now, will I say he needs to stop making YouTube co uh, commentary? Absolutely not. I mean, I don't watch his stuff like I've watched his stuff in the, stuff in the past before. I've been in a comment. I tried to go up on his panel before and give my opinion about what it is. But I realized there was no point. This dude is more likely a guard dog for... These angry so-called black women, a.k.a. these divesters, who are only putting on a show because they want to make it their, their whole entire ploy to diss on a so-called black man and say the so-called black men don't build shit and the black man is this, the black man is that. I tell brothers all the time, uh, or I tell them all the time, if you have that much of dealing with so-called black men, go date outside your nation. And if you have that much vitriol for so-called black men, Pick up a gun and shoot every so-called black man you can so that you can go ahead and make your point pretty much the way that it is. Do what you're going to say. You understand? So this is where I critique the brother. My thing is technically 
technically you did have your information out there for the world to see. You had your social media page locked. You had your Facebook unlocked. So someone did the, the random research of finding out what your name is, finding out where you live, finding out where your job is, and that's it. Now you have a bunch of so-called black women that's angry at you. And it's before. I've seen a divester that was previously rocking with the dude and, you know, give sharing his videos and, you know, supporting him. Things went sour because she wasn't able to get on a panel or something like that. And he had flexed his wings like, yo, just don't go on a panel right now. So she got mad and did a series of videos talking about don't trust this guy. He's not our ally. And this, that, and the third. And I think it's very psychotic that a woman like herself needs to find an ally on some fucking random on some fucking random YouTube shit in order to go to war with so-called black men. It's pretty sad the world that we live in that we have to engage in some frivolous gender war. As if like we can't just have some understanding. The woman knows exactly what a part is and the man knows what his part is. But unfortunately, dudes want to have a pissing contest and a dick contest to see who's better than who. And this is no different than the brother that I'm talking about right now because he's doing the exact same thing. He's just a guard dog for these angry so-called black men, black women. And so-called black men need to realize exactly what your enemy is. The so-called black woman will use any, any, any forces that they can use against the so-called black men in order to make sure that they uphold the matriarch in which they move to this whole entire thing of God is a woman and all these different things and the mother goddess, whole entire spectrum of things. And I'm, and I'm quoting this as well from a fellow YouTuber that I, uh, that I like to watch, that I'm a connoisseur of his content, and I'll admit that, but I start to realize this for myself as well. So I use these terms because I even recognize exactly the stuff that's going on. But my point of making this video is don't become too entrenched into the internet portal. A lot of people feel as if they need the YouTube and need all these social medias as their muse in order to make a message clear and precise. And the thing about it is they'll flex their whole entire thing of saying, oh, yeah, well, this is who I am and blah, blah, blah. And this, that, and the third and getting checks off of keeping it real or not keeping it real. The Internet is only what you make it. It's just a portal of people getting to know each other, whether it be through YouTube, Instagram. Facebook and all these different things. What I always express about the internet is that you use it for a purpose. Yeah, we may become entrenched in this, and I'm, I'm also a gu guilty of this as well, but I do realize that I have a lot of work to do. Everybody has a lot of work to do. And the thing about it is, doxing people is just not the way. It just shows immaturity. And this is why I know this society is going to complete high school in, in middle school mentality. Because this is what you have to do to express your opinion about something, someone that you dislike. It's sad and pathetic. But otherwise than that, I'll leave it at that be. And that's just my whole entire ploy. I mean, that's my whole entire thought process on this whole entire conversation. Not only for the young brother that's making the content, uh, and making his YouTube page, and a lot of women is mad at him now. But just the fact of the matter that a lot of this shit is pretty much sad. But like I said... Don't become too entrenched into the internet portal. Don't make this a whole entire ploy where you're really going to be mad at yourself or be mad at someone because you disagree with what they're saying. I'll also give this advice to myself. Peace.